Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, I apologise about that. And also, if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped. And hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2022 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video as well, because it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to listen in full for the first time to the Swiss entry for the upcoming 2022 edition of the Eurovision Song Contest, which, as we all know, will be staged this May in Turin in Italy. Now, of course, Switzerland hosted the inaugural competition in 1956 in the southern city of Lugano and won with Refrain by Liz Assia. They wouldn't win again until Celine Dion in 1988. She won by one point ahead of Scott Fitzgerald of the UK in Dublin, I believe it was. And this was before she went on to become one of the best-selling female musicians of all time. Switzerland has not won since. From the mid-2000s to sort of the mid-2010s, their qualification record wasn't particularly impressive. Remember the Salvation Army Band in 2013? They didn't qualify. Zips in 2018 didn't qualify. A couple of last places in the semi-final as well in that time. But then they opted for an internal selection. Luca Hani was excellent in 2019 in Tel Aviv. Really up-tempo, really fun, very contemporary, wonderful stuff. Fourth place. And then two cracking ballads by John's Tears, Répondez-moi and Tout l'Univers. He was one of the favourites to win in Rotterdam last year. He ended up third, certainly not to be sniffed at. Wonderful stuff. This year, it was very quiet for a long time with Switzerland. The other day, as I'm recording this video, they put something out on social media saying we're going to announce our act and song on March the 8th. It is now March the 8th. As I'm recording this, I've only got a little bit of time, hence why this video might be uh, a bit shorter than usual. But... The song is out. It premiered a short time ago. I've seen a few comments. People are disappointed. There's a surprise. That sums up this year's Eurovision season. I've already had somebody have a go at me today because I wanted Katla to win Song for Kepnin in Iceland. And they said, don't you like fun? Daughters of Reykjavik should be the winners. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm off to a flyer. This is probably going to disappoint me now that I've seen those comments. But I'll make my own mind up. The singer... I don't really know anything about them, I'll be honest. It is Marius Bear. His name was uh, on the internet over the past couple of days. Apparently the song leaked as well. He's co-written his song with Martin Gallup. And it's called Boys Do Cry. Um, so this is going to be quite interesting. And I'm going to get straight into it. Let me know your thoughts, of course. Links in the description, as always, to my other social media pages. Interesting, because uh, Boys Don't Cry is a song by The Cure that I really enjoy. So maybe this is the complete opposite of that track. Who knows? Let's get into it. The music video is here. Just over 8,700 views. Let's see what this is all about. The Swiss. I'm, I'm really hoping this is great because they've been on a roll lately. Okay. He's in some sort of regal looking room. There he is. Hmm. I should say, I've seen a few comments already saying we've got too many ballads this year. What is that all about? I don't think we have many ballads at all. It's a lot of very expressive tracks. This being in the first half of the first semi-final, I'm already getting the feeling this will stand out a mile. It's a ballad, yes. There's a boy. In a mirror. Crocodile tears. Hmm. It's a sort of... Okay, we're entering the chorus. This is a sort of fairy tale type ballad. Very low key. You can see the comments already. Boring, boring. Sending me to sleep. Didn't stop a Marpelos Deutsch the other year, did it? Candy Floss. This is going to be a jury favourite. But it really needs to build up, though. Really does. Boys do cry. Strings. This has a very luscious 
sort of old style musical theatre vibe. Okay, not much to say about the video really, lots of different lights, some sort of childhood story here. Yeah, it's very charming. This is very good, but I'm already thinking this won't get huge love from the public. Juries, yes. Public, no. I think too many people may find this dull. It's a lovely track. It's a lovely track. And his voice is nice. Interesting. Yeah, I totally understand, totally understand people that might be bored to death by this. And then we've got the kid at the end in his cardboard outfit. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, obviously with John's Tears and his ballads, uh, certainly to L'Univers, it had that energy and momentum to it. It really built up. We had that high note towards the end. Um, this song feels a bit more uh, stripped back. It feels, like I said earlier, a sort of musical theatre type song. Uh, something that you would have heard years ago, perhaps. And therefore, it might feel a bit dated for Eurovision. But there's certainly a place for this in that first semi-final, which is, in my opinion, is looking really iffy. The quality just isn't there much at all. The juries will go big for it. No doubt about it. I'm taking a look at some of the other comments. Uh, mixed feelings, blah blah blah, too much of a soft spot for jazz ballads, very nice, classic nostalgia, yes, I think that's the right term, nostalgia. Uh, somebody's commenting about France, they've got the country wrong, where's John's tears, he's done it twice, somebody else now. Mm. Somebody didn't expect a ballad. Somebody's talking about Serbia's entry. This is so typical. It's a downgrade, somebody says here. It, it is a bit. It feels that way to me. But at the same time, I think it's a really lovely song. And it's the sort of track that you need to listen to a few times to really appreciate it. So, with that being said, let me know what you think. And as always, links in the description to my other social media pages. And I'll be back with another video very soon. I think Cyprus's entry is tomorrow, so I'll be reacting to that. So if you're interested, stick around, and until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye for now.